Oh, look, there's a giant cup in the way. Let's get that out of the way there. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hope everybody's having a good day. Maybe were you hearing everything I was talking about before? Yeah, you probably were. Oh, well. Whatever. So, give me a second. That should be it. Uh, this you can see, still don't understand. What's that? Well, then use your app. What? So, on the menu tonight, we're going to be making our making some garlic butter with parmesan cauliflower rice so let's just start breaking down this cauliflower and we'll rice it just like we did a couple weeks ago when we made our mexican rice it's gonna be a mess may have to save some of these florets actually I love raw cauliflower. That'll be it for now. It's good. Clean up that a little bit here in a second. <clears throat> right. I just try to chop this up just a little bit so we can break it down. So we can just put it in the food processor. Last time we made it, I had two big chunks and it was a pain in the ass. Oh, shoot. So it's such a mess, and I need to use this cutting board again for other stuff we're cutting up. Just set that right there. Here. Bench scraper, scrape all the stuff up. Oh, look at that, that's messy. This is such a messy, messy food. See hey. leaves in there. Well. Don't want them in there. Right there. Hey, well. Do -do -do. All right. Let's rinse off the knife. So it's in here. We can use it. We're gonna chop up some parsley. We're gonna chop up the chicken. We're gonna clean up this mess first. So we need to use this cutting board again. Just do a quick rinsey rinse of it. Just pat dry. We'll just start. Just prep everything, and then after that, and you know, also just prepping one thing at a time. We'll just prep everything in one go. All right, let's see. We are going to need to cut up 
I have cut up an onion. It says a what? A white onion. I don't have white onions. I have yellow onions, but that'll do. We're gonna need a couple of garlics that are gonna be minced and some that will be freshly peeled. One. And it says garlic, so I'm assuming that's an entire bowl, so I'll just use three. Oh, large cloves. Not a bulb. So maybe just one would be fine, actually. That, that's garbage. Peel this onion. Chop it up. the ability to peel it a bit easier if I can mm -hmm. okay oh, called me by the way babe huh? K jewelers oh we're having a customer appreciation month you should stop in blah 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 i'm like i'm good she's like it'll be perfect time for valentine's day yes i'm like no i'm good thank you though we don't need no valentine's day gifts and then your dad called as well i didn't return his call yet about, yeah, why did they call you? I guess we're gonna buy a new one or something. For Valentine's Day. <laughs> you don't buy people gifts for Valentine's Day. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you don't buy your parents stuff for Valentine's Day. It's different when you're married to them, or you're with it, and, but you don't buy gifts like that for Valentine's Day. All right. So just mincing this onion up. I was even say it just chopped, but I'm doing nice fine chops. Get done it. We're good. We'll get this all scraped up. Set aside. Get the onion. I mean the the garlic done. The water going. Do, 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 do. Oh shoot, just spilling onions everywhere. This is a half a cup. How much is this? This is an, this is one cup. So we'll use half of this when we need it. And these were fairly small onions too, so I'm surprised. Now I'm getting the onion onion tears appearing. Okay. 
Okay, we got that done. Let's set these aside. We'll start working on our garlic next. Let's just chop that off right there. And we'll probably just use all these. These are pretty small anyway. And we need to mince these, but then also grate a couple of them because it says too large grated so as these are pretty small anyway so let's use yeah. all of them i mean that's a decent sized one <sighs> Garlic layers, man. Such a pain. Break it. Let's use this actually. Oh, look at that. That actually broke it more than we wanted to, but it's okay. That's okay. Just set that over there. using the bench scrapers. Not that bad. It's crushing these garlics pretty well. That skin came off fairly well. I could use the back my knife, but this gives me a better surface area. Apply pressure with. I need to coming off. So I'll keep that one for grating along with this one, maybe, and that one came off, came off as well, Just mince that, that didn't think out how I wanted it to, how about that, real rice or re-riot, well, this is not a real rice, buddy. Glad for you to finally show up, Ming. Where you been at for the last 20 minutes, huh? Thought you were my number one customer outside of, besides my wife. All right. So we got our garlic. Let's get this scraps out of the way. Visiting my sister at her place. Cool. How's she doing? Let's get all this stuff out of here. Since we're gonna be. Look, it's sprouting, guys. It's garbage. Alright, so let's just finally chop this. And I must take out my nail there. Come on, choppy choppy chop. She's good. I'd ask her if she could borrow, if I could borrow some baking stuff from her for tomorrow. What are you going to be baking? Something delicious? I'm making two more loaves of bread tonight. Or maybe I'll go to the store and get the peanut butter. I don't know. Butterscotch blondes. Blondies. Cool. Sounds like fun. You're making those tomorrow or are you making those this weekend or something? 
Or are you just stopping at her house tomorrow to pick it up? Hi, it's El. How are you? I'm begging them tomorrow since the apartment smells like cleaning stuff. So figure I'd get the actual good smells going. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with clean cleaning supplies unless it just smells like bleach and stuff, dude. Then yeah, I figure I understand what you mean. You want to get that nastiness out. Let's just chop that up. We'll keep these going. Let's just get this little root out the way. I might could have used the garlic press for this, but it's fine. We'll just choppy chop it up. Uh, it's like the absence of smell. It's so either bake something or I can eat it or just throw a small bit of vanilla in the oven. I guess. Just chop this up. Stay here, everybody. Get back. Stay there. All right. Let's wash this off. Actually, we still got some to go. It's all together. Another little bowl. Have so we'll just use a bigger bowl. And we're gonna grate the garlic when we're when we actually need it. I'm not gonna do that right now. Hey Cal, how are you? All right, so we got, next thing we're gonna have to do is cut up our chicken. Let's, when do I need the parsley? Do I need to throw parsley? Yeah, I need to go wash the parsley up. More greens that you don't like peach. Oh, that hurts. Glad that didn't go through the wall there. Oh, you don't mind parsley? Really? Wow. I mean, it's a green. I'm surprised you don't mind it. It's crazy, buddy. Pretty sure I was supposed to probably take the stems out, but whatever. We're eating stems tonight, I guess. Whew, this is very strong. It's very, I don't know how to say it. Let's just chop it up. That should be good. Let's get rid of these. Let's see some, some stems still on it. I'm doing good, Cal. Thanks for asking. I did listen to Christopher's voicemail. I was, I will look at a computer for you. I did look at a few of them. I'll just have to send the links. I just got to ask him what he wants to, the price point for him. That you guys are wanting to spend. All right, let's get this parsley up here.
how's my logo creating? Oh, I'll show you real quick. I did this um, just for the starting screen for right now. But gonna be, that was just something quick, you know, I threw together just for tonight. I'm gonna keep adding on to it. You know, just a work in progress still. It's kind of nice. Uh, I don't know if Adobe lets you do that, but within uh, the designer there, if you go into file, it lets you go into directly into photo. So I was like, oh, that's pretty sweet. I like that. It's a nice little feature they have there. Oh no, wrong way, right way. All right. Let's get this cleaned up. Next thing we're gonna do is chop up our, uh, yeah, chop up the, the chicken a little bit. Slice it thinly. And for that, we're going to be using a different cutting board. Cutting board I always use for it. You can find uh, the video editing software other than Premiere. As good as Premiere? Yeah. I'm sure there's there's plenty out there, dude. You just got to find the right one. I think, isn't one like Blender or something? I know, there's one that's a freeware that's just as good as Adobe that I've seen I was going to use, but I never did. Yeah, you're saying that. I'm going to do three chicken breasts, I think. Let's see. Mm, I need a shallow dish. One. Let's grab a couple plates. Here, where's my knife? Yeah, there's also DaVinci Resolve. I'm not sure if that's the one I was I saw or not, but something like that. Let's trim up this chicken. Also, pat it down to get rid of its excess juices. And I, you could pound these out, but I'm just going to slice them in half. So we do that. Let's get paper towel to pat these down so these juices get all gone. Yeah, dude, I don't know. $52 a month. That's just, that's crazy for something you're not using all the time. So I'd say it's definitely worth it for you to do a swap. And we're just doing little chicken breast cutlets out of this. So let's just keep on slicing down it. Good for that one. Let's get the next one. I had to clean the bottom cutting board here anyway, I'm sure. Because I don't want any of these juices touching it. Some 
fatty chicken breasts. Nice and cleaned up. I mean, these may not be even chicken breasts, but they'll be just fine. I'll probably keep this one whole though. It was pretty small to begin with. We got one last one. Actually, I kept the other one whole too, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Butterfly it. That's what I, terminology I was trying to use, butterflying the chicken. I was like, oh, we got a bunch of chicken breasts. What should I make? I stumbled upon this recipe. I was like, oh, that sounds pretty good. We enjoy the, we enjoy cauliflower rice. Is this one already? That was actually pretty thin as is, so no need to butterfly that one. All right. I think we're about ready to get the show on the road. We're just gotta rice up our cauliflower. And we can just start making our meal. Oh, there goes my garlic. I guess I need to get another garlic, damn it. I'll just use the one. Maybe. Just flip this. All right, let's set this over here. So we're gonna need that here in a few minutes. Okay. Oh, I have a giant garlic here anyway, that can be great. Just kinda pop it open. Yeah, that's a good one from before. Set that there. All right, so I was able to successfully put on the grating grater attachment again. No fail for it, so I think I got to put that on. Just got to take that off. Now we're going to start shoving our cauliflower into here. And just dropping it. It's like anything like last time, we're gonna have a whole bunch of bits here, but that's fine. I'm just tossing cauliflower. I wish I could just shove this in here without having, just have this on all the time without needing to continuously shove into it. Oh no, I'm just making a mess. Let's get rid of these stocks. And we don't need, I don't want to use those stomachs. I guess I want to keep some of these heads, so. I'll be it, that'll be all I need right now. Right, we'll keep this. Throw these away and we'll just eat these little ones. All right.
friends. Set that chicken back in the fridge. We won't need it anymore. Wash the rice on the mat. All right. Get all this out of here. I'm going to set this aside because we don't need it yet. It's supposed to use a non-stick pan, but I don't have a non-stick pan big enough, so we're using this bad boy. All right, let's see. Okay. So we're going to be, in the shallow plate, we're going to combine our Parmesan cheese, grated garlic, paprika, and Italian seasoning. So this is a shallow enough plate, chicken away. Get our Parmesan cheese out. I think that'll be good. I'll have to take the paprika out. Paprika. Of course, it's going to need salt and pepper on the chicken, but we'll add that here shortly. Let's get our Italian seasonings all up in here. Just give us a quick little toss. Then we'll grate What's that the thinnest grater we have? I think so. Let's see. It. I guess this is as thin as it's gonna go, that's fine. Don't wanna break my fingers off though. Yeah. Like using a mandolin, you don't want to freaking slice your fingers off or your hand off. All right, let's get this one. Cables not being friendly. Don't want you to melt, man. Yeah. There we go. Ow. Just like that. You don't want that to happen. All right, let's get these out of here. Let's get all that in there. Need a, a better grater, a thinner grater, I think. A little zester. 
All right, so let's just kind of just toss this all in here again. Now that we got our chicken. So what we're gonna do is we'll salt and pepper our chicken real quick. Set this aside. Pinch everything. Then we're gonna next we're just gonna melt two tablespoons of butter. We'll go to level four on here. I got that butter out, I thought. There it is. So let's just salt and pepper these first. Dredge them into this mixture that we just made. Fork for this so I don't have to wash my hands again. So after we dredge it. That's garbage. That one's garbage. garbage. Come on. All right, there we go. That's better. Shake that off. Okay, let's melt our two tablespoons of butter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cook our chicken cutlets into this butter. We have to toasty. That's fine. You get a little smoky in here, look like. It's gonna be brown butter at this point. So let's dredge our chicken outside it. Both sides. Probably should have gotten different Parmesan. Just shake off the excess, toss it in. Probably needed to use finely grated Parmesan. Oops. That's all right, though. It already smells amazing. A little bit. So we're going to let these sit in here for about two to three minutes. Then we're going to flip it. Obviously, it all depends on how thick the chicken you're, if you do plan on your recipe, which I will link um, here in just a second. I'm just going to rinse off these plates. Okay. 
because everything you know is based on the thickness that you're using. So once this is done cooking, we're going to actually throw an additional two um, tablespoons of butter. So we're going to take this out, and then we're going to cook the cauliflower in there, along with some lemon, our garlic, and onion as well. And about half the parsley. And it says use vegetable stock. I'm going to, I don't have vegetable stock. Forgot to get that, and I really didn't want to just use buy an entire big container of vegetable stock for just a little bit. I wonder why the camera looks a little wonky today. But anyway, the uh, the recipe, like I said, let me pull that up for you guys. Garlic. Here's the recipe. Linked it in chat. And this is already getting a really good crust. Show you real quick. Oh, well, actually, all the Parmesan's melting. Smells very good. And I can see the chicken is already cooking through pretty well because it's halfway through the thickness of this chicken. What is this? Is that a piece of chicken? Oh, that's a piece that I thought I got rid of. Apparently not. The reason why I can see why I say use non-stick is so the Parmesan doesn't stick on in here, which I can see it's doing right now. Kind of move them around so that they don't adhere to our pan here. I can see it's kind of doing that. Kind of shift it around, get it all out. Unstuck there. Maybe a little bit. Keep the on the center, Mario. I mean, lemon zest is optional, but I'm going to be doing, uh, obviously, the juices here. So I'm rolling out the parmesan, I'm rolling out the lemon. Check it out. I don't know why I brought out olive oil. The olive oil is not the oil. Just gonna do a quick flip. See, it's like the Parmesan actually just crusted up. Not crusted up, but did its own thing. Will be all part of the the cauliflower mixture. 
Oh, uh, sorry, I missed your little comment. I'll send you a picture of my attempt at baking as well. So you're making, where was it? Let me scroll back up. I can eat it. Butterscotch blondies. Okay. Hmm. That sounds actually uh, pretty good, though. I should probably make that. Never made blondies. That sounds like fun, Peach. Don't want to scrape my pan with this floor, but. Smell very Italian seasoning up in this place now. Um, I texted you the recipe. All right, let's check it out. Oh, you're using Hershey's Direct. Butter, light brown, sure, got it, got it, got it. Butterscotch chip. Okay. Interesting. Maybe I'll make those. Maybe I will make those. So I did a quick route of ripening bananas today so like like i said i gotta make more banana bread just toss them in the oven for about 15 20 minutes to ripen them now they're just chilling here cooling off i was trying to make those before like while i was setting up stream but i guess i need to make some peanut butter ones but i thought it was, we have peanut butter chocolate chips but not just peanut butter so i gotta get some peanut butter but at least I can make two of the um, just plain ones. My first from scratch baking attempt. I mean, it's not that hard. You just kind of throw stuff together and just wish for the best. And in most cases, it does come out delicious regardless. I mean, what do you think I do here? I just kind of throw things together and it just comes out delicious. Comes out tasting fantastic. Let's just take a peek at this chicken. Let's chop in a little bit. All right, that one still has a little bit to go. Yeah, we still have a little bit to go. I'm going to cover this up, actually. I have a clean board, I think. That's something underneath my door. Right size. Yep, I just I drop a pan baking sheet somehow. But I can't get behind the thing, so. Oh. There's a baking sheet underneath the oven now. Like opening the door? Yeah, I mean, I think we can close the drawer all the way. But. Yeah. So I'm just covering it up right now just to try to get it to steam, cook it, so that that raw chicken. Because it's still kind of raw in a few spots, but we want it to fully cook. 
And so we got it 57 minutes into the stream. I'll flip it again here after two more minutes. <laughs> Let it steam for another two minutes and we'll move on with the cauliflower. So yeah, we're gonna melt. I'm gonna throw the the butter, put our garlic and onion in there. And then we're gonna add in our cauliflower. So let's get a little disc on. Get some of these bigger chunks out of here. Rinse this off. Yeah, I was just trying to do that right now. Um, I was trying to lift it up, but it wasn't coming out. So I'll have to do that here. I'll, I'll do it later. I mean, it closes right now. It's not really that important that I need one. We have plenty in there. But for two minutes, just kind of flip, flip it again. Give another minute or two. Come on, Daddy. Come on. All right. And this steaming looks like it did some work. Chicken tastes absolutely delicious. I got some butter ready. Butter. Probably could have used that one, but oh yeah, that was there's about four tablespoons. That should be good. I don't want to steam anything. Let's check out that chicken. Cut into a bigger piece here. All right. That's what we go. Let's take them out. I'm going to scrape out everything in here as well. Add to our chicken. Spatula. Turn all that off. Come on, buddy. May need a different dispatch. Well, Parmesan. Not that anymore. Get our burnt Parmesan added here. Not really burnt, but Parmesan is stuck. Grab a different spatula now. Go. Get that eye out of here. We should just use this to get in the other spatula. Let's try this little piece. Oh, man. That chicken is just so flavorful. It's absolutely delicious. All right, let's, let's throw this butter in here, even though we still have an excess amount of butter from before. Thank you. 
with all that fawn down there, that deliciousness, all that flavor. It's going to go in this cauliflower. Let's throw our garlic. You don't need all this onion, so I'm just going to use about that much of it. We're just going to cook this until it's just fragrant. We don't want to burn it. Let's get that bond out of there. Chop off these onions that haven't actually. Just a little bit. We're going to have a lot of moisture coming out of that garlic. I mean, out of the, uh, the cauliflower here in just a moment once we throw it in here. in our cauliflower. This cauliflower was like absorbing all that, all those juices. But it had its own juice, all the water in it anyway. You want to see, just like when we made the Mexican cauliflower rice a couple weeks ago, this is going to happen the size that it currently is. But we're trying to get all that flavor incorporated. Stirring this for about a minute, trying to get every, like I said, everything incorporated so it's it all flavorful. <clears throat> and since we didn't, I don't have the vegetable stock, I, I kept the excess juices in here from the chicken. Let's try to use that as additional flavoring. All the fawn on the bottom is getting picked up. We don't have anything stuck in the bottom of this anymore. That's a good thing. Everything on the sides here, all the way out of there. There's still some big bits on here. And that's just from the stem of the cauliflower. And Try a little little nibble of this. Just gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning to it, and a little bit of salt and pepper. The recipe doesn't call for, but it just needs a little bit more flavoring. Then we're going to add in our, our lemon juice and then the parsley here in just a moment. 
I mean, um, always got to adapt your recipes. Just make some adjustments to it. Make it your own little twist. All right. That's all chopped up. Let's just squeeze this in there. Trying to catch all the seeds that come out. All right, buddy. Thanks for stopping in. I'll let you know how this tastes. I mean, it's almost done already. You just have to add in our parsley and then add the chicken back into it, and we're all set. I'm just going to stir this together so every little bit gets in there. Let's add half our parsley. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a Parmesan cheese in here to make it a little bit melty because it's the recipe says to do that if there's nothing left over. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of it in here. Or I'll incorporate that Parmigiano. You can see it's already melting in there. There we have it. There we have it, chat. Turn this off. We don't need it anymore. There's our little few sprays of that. I gotta clean this up here. I don't want it to. Staying the counter up. And there is our cauliflower rice with our our chicken. All nice and delicious looking. Just clean up this board real quick. We can take a nice picture of it. Can I get your phone, babe, since you have a really nice phone now? Takes great quality pictures with a food setting. Can 
Maybe I should have done the other side. No, whatever. You can always cover that up. How's that look? Yeah. Doesn't it? <clears throat> More food. Let's get the iPad out of the way. Just take a nice picture. Trying to get some nice angles out of this. These are always the hardest things to do, chat. There we go. I think that, uh, I think that was mighty delicious right there. Now, we just got to, we're going to plate it up and let's take a bite. Oh, I may need to take another picture of it, actually, while it's on the plate. Okay, babe? Just grab. Trying to grab a bed of rice. Let me just pull this one off. Oh man, I was hoping not to make a mess on my plate, but that's fine. Let's put a few more sprigs on here. Just for presentation. down right there I think that looks pretty damn good chat look at that it looks pretty dang delicious to me all right guys you're funny I don't know why her camera is like being wonky right now. There we go. Hmm. All right, guys, let's take a bite of it and just try it out. All right, I said I already tried the rice. I tried the chicken separately. Let's just try it all together, though. I thought I got the pork, but apparently I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did.
All right, let's try the rice after I've seasoned it. Oh, that's really good. You get the nice flavor from the chicken, I mean from the, uh, the lemon. Chicken's not bad. Just have a little bite with both of it. Mm. Absolutely delicious. If you do want to, you know, have that recipe, it is in chat, but here it is once more. <clears throat> I would definitely recommend trying this. Very, very simple. I mean, if you don't have a food processor, you can't make your own cauliflower rice. You can definitely substitute with uh, frozen rice, frozen cauliflower rice, I should say. Or if you can get, you know, any cauliflower rice that's pretty fresh or whatever, or if someone somewhere sells it, you can do so. Or you can always ask me, I'll make it for you. I appreciate your time, chat. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. We're gonna have dinner now and enjoy this delicious meal. I'll see you guys all on Sunday. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Gargath TV or on Instagram at Mose.dose. Appreciate your time as always. Have a good night.